Okay, so hey everyone, I have a really cool video for you guys today. This is going to be another lip swatch video for some liquid lipsticks that cost me a dollar and nine cents each. Yes, you heard me correctly. A dollar and nine cents each. These are the Nika K New York liquid lipsticks. This is a brand that you can find in your local beauty supply store, your local 99 cent store, dollar store, places like that. These are the lipsticks, you guys, and I cannot wait. There's about 15 shades, and I picked up 11. I picked up some neutrals, some darks, some um, a pink, I have a red, I have a brown, and I'm gonna do comparisons to other brands like Jeffree Star, Colourpop, whatever I could find, I'm gonna do comparisons. So, this is gonna be like my first impression slash swatches and comparisons of these Nika K liquid lipsticks. So I'm going to swatch them all on my lips and then towards the end of the video, I'm gonna go through each shade and talk about what I'll, if I have a, co a comparison for it, what comparison, like what dupe, I have for it, then I will show you the guys the dupe and just basically give my thoughts on them. So let's get into these swatches. So this is the packaging that you get. Um, it just says this, it's like a big sticker type thing, but it doesn't peel off. And it says true matte with a little kiss. Down here it says Nika K New York City. Um, pretty clear packaging, it's pretty tall. It's about the same height as maybe like a, a little bit shorter than a Colourpop liquid lipstick. You do get, you get 0.12 ounces of product in here. If I remember correctly, I also have the Jordana liquid lipsticks. I'll leave that linked up top and down below. Those were 0.11. I think Colourpop is 0.11 as well. So this is 0.12 ounces of product. And like I said, here is the packaging. And as I said at first, this is a dollar and nine cents. So I'm gonna go ahead and swatch them all for you now. So the first shade is Turkish Rose. This is the shade Milbrook. The next shade is Coco Bean. 
Next shade is Wineberry. Next shade is Aubergine. right now like, I'm gonna stop this right now like I want to show you guys something do you see this how light it is all in here big no no big no no and this is the black liquid lipstick I have on right now how light and like patchy like let's get let's get to this review I got a lot to say like right now about these lipsticks okay I have all shades swatched from the back of my hand. I'm very disappointed. Um, if you see the intro, you see how excited I, I was about this video. Because um, I found some dollar, nice and liquid lipstick. I know some people are going to say, oh, you get what you pay for. But ColourPop is $6, and that's still super, super cheap. And I would still rather ColourPop over these. I'm not going to give these an entirely a bad review because they're not terrible, but I would say pass on these. So we're going to go shade by shade, and I'm actually going to show the dupes I have. And thank God I have dupes because I would rather you get the dupes and pay the extra money than really buy these. If you still want to try these, I say shoot for it. I don't dislike all the shades, but I do dislike a couple of the shades. So let's get into the review. So the first shade we tried on was Turkish Rose. Love this shade. I love this shade. This is the first shade I have swatched right here. That's Turkish Rose. So I have three dupes for that one. I don't have dupes for all the shades, but I do have dupes for some of them. For Turkish Rose, I have Androgyny by Jeffree Star, Double Dare by Kat Von D, and Tiramisu by Jordana. Now Jordana, as I said, I swatched this one, um, last month or so and I love those so for Turkish Rose I have these three shades here this is the Jordana one this is an um turn me suit this is double dare by Kevin D and this is androgyny by Jeffree Star now compared to Turkish Rose which is up here androgyny is a bit deeper but the the um Termisu and Double Dare are spot on for it. Spot on. Androgyny, as I said, is a bit deeper. So let's move on. But I do like and recommend Turkish Rose. The next shade we swatched was Millbrook. Now, Millbrook is the shade right here. It's that beautiful, like, deep... No, I'm lying. This is Millbrook right here. You can barely see it, but it's a gray tone purple with a lot more gray. Um, dupes for that I have a lot because that's one of my favorite colors. So I'm just going to swatch the dupes and show you all what I have. So my battery died, so I think we were up to Millbrook. So Millbrook is the shade right there. It's that really pretty gray toned purple, but it's more on the dark 
it's more on the light gray side. Dupes for this one, I have Honeymoon by NYX, Marshmallow by Color Rain. I can't remember what this is, but this is Mess Around, the Ultra Matte, the Ultra Satin whatever by ColourPop, the new one that's Mess Around. This is my favorite lip color right now. And I have um, Soul by Color Rain. So, very much dupable that color. The next shade we swatched that I have a dupe for is Oriental Pink. I did not like this shade as you show as you saw in the video while I was doing the swatches. I gave it a big thumbs down. This shade is like a really it's like a really light Pepto Bismol kind of blue tone pink. Um there's a slight blue tone under blue undertone. This went on extremely streaky, like it was so streaky. Um, not really on the patchy side, but it was like super streaky, so I really didn't like this shade. So I'm just going to swatch on the back of my hand the dupes I have for you guys. So I have Push Up, right? No, Ruffle Trim by NYX, Beeper by ColourPop, and Echo Park by ColourPop. So here we have, um, oh, Ruffle Trim by NYX. Echo Park by ColourPop, which is an ultra satin lip thing, that, that, the new satin lipsticks by ColourPop is that one, it's Echo Park, and this says Beeper by ColourPop, which is the ultra matte liquid lipsticks, um, this is a lot more blue tone, this was a bit deeper, these would be perfect dupes for these, I'm quite sure you can find a dupe for that, um, Oreo to pink, like, anywhere. The next shade we swatched was Shiraz, Shiraz, um, which is really pretty red. It's the shade right here. This one didn't go on too bad. It went on kind of like the Jordana Cherry Blossom. Again, that video will be linked down below. It went on like that in the sense that you can really see the pigmentation in my top lip. But the Jordana one is a little bit more pigmented than this one. These, Some of these lack pigmentation. I will go through those when I get to them. This one didn't really lack the pigmentation but the Jordana Cherry Blossom one is a little bit more pigmented than this one um so yeah but the colors are almost the same and for that as a dupe I have Anastasia's Bloodline which is like a tad bit more orange but you can find a dupe for that red anywhere you can try like um Russian Red by MAC that one seems like um, a great dupe for that one. The next shade is the next shade is Vivid Violet. This is my favorite, one of my favorites between this one and um, Millbrook are my favorites of these. And I have like one more favorite. Um, Vivid Violet is absolutely gorgeous. Went on perfectly, perfectly pigmented, no issues, none whatsoever. You can find dupes for this color for this color anywhere. It's actually the exact same shade as the Jordana one, and I think it was probably Wildberry. It's the exact same shade. This one, no problem. And I forgot I actually have the um, Jordana one here. And I'm just going to swatch it right on top. The Jordana one is just slightly a little bit more purple, or more of like a deep fuchsia than the um, Nika K one, but they both went on beautifully. Um, I'll, I'll be wearing both of them this summer. Beautiful, beautiful colors. The next shade we had was Outer Space. When I saw this on the display, I had to have it. Outer Space is this shade right here. It's literally a gray lipstick. It's so gorgeous. Um, this went on with no problem. I didn't have any problems with Outer Space at all. I went on really pigmented. It didn't go on streaky. It didn't go on patchy. This is, between this one and Vivid Violet, these went on absolutely perfect. And even Millbrook went on so perfect. No problem. No patchiness. No streakiness. Went on just great. The next shade I have is Cocoa Bean. <clears throat> the next shade I have is Cocoa Bean. Cocoa Bean is this beautiful brown right here. The exact dupe I would think of for Cocoa Bean is the Lipstick Photo by MAC. That's the exact same shade, but I just some dupes for you, so I'm going to swatch them and show you them. So as comparisons, I have Beauty Mark by NYX. This one is 
Salem by uh, Lime Crime. And this is Dominatrix by Jeffree Star. These two clearly are not dupes. Well, Salem is closest to it, but the other two are not really dupes, but they're great comparisons. In case you were wondering, Dominatrix is so, so dark. Um, and I love Dominatrix, by the way. I see a favorite one month. But that's my comparisons for Coco Bean. Another shade that I really do recommend. I rec all the shades that I've shown you so far, except for Oriental Peak and except for the red one, I do recommend. And that includes Coco Bean. I do recommend. It's a really beautiful brown. Another color that I had no problem with. The next shade is Wineberry. Yes, Wineberry, which is the shade right here. I'm sorry, but I'm gonna be real with you guys. I don't care if these lipsticks are a hundred dollars or a dollar, or say are a dollar. This shade is the worst shade out of the bunch. It seems like once with these lipsticks, once you get to the darker shades, they just fail to perform. They lack pigmentation. Not only are they're not even streaky, they are severely patchy. Like the patchiness, I could not get a full-on coverage. I couldn't. I can even show you by the swatch on my hand. You see how thin that is? And that's from me like taking the lipstick wand and like getting in there. Like it just doesn't perform well. But this is Wineberry. You can find dupes for this shade anywhere. I do not recommend Wineberry whatsoever. The next three shades I'm about to show you, I do not recommend you purchase whatsoever. Just skip over them. The next shade was Arbogine. Arbogine is like a, it's supposed to be a dark plum. When you take it out of here, it's supposed to be clearly a dark plum. And this is me like scraping the hell out of my hand with that wand. This did not perform. It took me forever just to get it this dark, to get it deeper than this on my lips. Took me forever. I kept having to go into the bottle, go again, go into the bottle, go again. Like, I don't want to have to do all that when I can get, like, a deep purple from anywhere and just literally just go, slap it on and go. Um, Arbogine, I do not recommend. It does not perform well at all. And this is Arbogine here. You can even see how thin it is, these swatches down here compared to these. As I said, it seems like once you get darker, they just stop performing. The next shade is Clairvoyant, and I really want to, after going what I went through with Wineberry, no, not Wineberry, Arbogine, I really wanted Clairvoyant to perform. I was like, I hope this is it, because they're really similar. And even though Clairvoyant came up a lot darker, it took me a lot to get it to that point. Clairvoyant is another shade I just don't recommend. The darker shades, they I'm gonna keep saying they just do not perform. They are very, they are extremely patchy. Like it's out of control. And the last shade really disappointed me. The last shade, Thunder, is a matte black liquid lipstick, and that's Thunder. That thin, like purple looking, you can still see like my skin through there. That is a black lipstick. Like. Lime Crime, um, Black Velvet, Jeffree Star, Weirdo, Anastasia Beverly Hills Midnight, beautiful black lipsticks, dry beautifully, no patching, and this is so patchy, and you saw, I swatched this one last, I even showed you in my lip, but you couldn't even, it was so bad. So, the last thing I want to say about these lipsticks, that they do have a smell. They smell very similar to the Jordana lipstick, just a little bit, um, yeah. Just that the, they smell exactly the same, except the Nika K ones are a bit stronger in smell, and I don't like that. It's a smell that I can deal with, but I did notice that it smells just like the Jordana ones, but a bit stronger. As I said, these are $1.09, and I know you guys are going to say you get what you pay for. To me, that's bullshit. I know things that cost these, the, the Jordana ones are like, what, a dollar and fifty cents more? And these are amazing, so what's really, so what's really the difference, you know? I just feel like I'm gonna follow Nika K on Instagram, and I don't really like posting bad reviews, but I'm, I'm an honest, straight up, I give it to you straight, no chaser, I'm an honest person, I'm an honest YouTuber. These, as I said, the first set of shades, I will leave stars next to them in the description box, those are the ones I really recommend, and these darker shades skip over them, pass them. I'm so glad I didn't, I, they have more peaks. 
I'm so glad I didn't get any more of the pinks because Oriental Pink went on so patchy and nasty. It just made no sense for me to have a bunch of pinks like that. Um, the darker shades are absolutely of no use to me. I'm probably not going to wear them. But these lighter shades I will wear. I really do like. I'm going to follow Mika K on Instagram like I was saying. And I'm going to see maybe if they'll switch the formula. It's the formula. So the formula isn't terrible, but it isn't great either. And that's what's probably caused like the patchiness, the lack of pigmentation. They really need to go in and fix the formula. The packaging I actually think is really cute. It's simple and it's cute. Really cool. But other than that, I really don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't think these are a must-have. I really think these look like ColourPop and even Jordana has darker shades. They have a lot more shades. Um, this has a larger shade range than Jordana, but the Jordana ones are just better quality, better formula, better pigmentation. Um, I really do say these are not a must-have. You can definitely skip them. Let me know what you guys think down below. I'm well open to questions, comments, and concerns. And I say pick up two or three shades, not as many as I did, of the ones up here. And see how you like them, but... Nika K is a, these are no-go for me. No, no, no-go. The darker shades I may pass along to a relative, but other than that, I really don't think you need them. Um, so yeah, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, let me know, and I will see you on the next video. Mwah.